What's up, Lamarians? It's Ryan Lamar today with the Ryan Lamar Way. So I just want to bring some light to this heartbeat bill. And how I got even on this subject of the heartbeat bill is I am, as you know, a wardrobe stylist for movies and TV shows and things like that as another side gig from all the other things that I do. But I am working with this big company that has postponed any other work, feature film, anything until after they decide on what this heartbeat deal is going to do. And I'm just like, but we are in movie production. Why is it such an emphasis on the heartbeat bill? But then I thought about it. At the end of each set, there's a thing called a rap party. That's where all of the people, the cast members, the stars, the producers, the writers, the everybody who's taking part in that production come together for like a, a, a ending party, right? But word on the street is that since a lot of people like each other and flirt, I guess, during the set, they hook up. So maybe it's a lot of abortions that happen coming from set, but I don't understand why that would postpone any production companies moving here when I thought production companies were moving here because of the tax incentives. But with this heartbeat bill, people are protesting. People don't want people to make decisions with their own body. And this is the way I feel about that. Live your own life and operate in your own truth. I don't 100% agree with the heartbeat bill either because certain restrictions say that even if you're raped, you cannot abort the pregnancy, which to me, I don't really agree with. I think you should be able to do with your body whatever you choose. May I give this to you? It's sure. about um, anybody that is in turmoil because they have an unplanned pregnancy to uh, just share with them information because there's so many people that want to reach out and help people that are in turmoil, men and women. Uh, there's a lot of men that um, don't know their fathers. Yeah. And that's a, unjust. Years ago, in, in the year two, 300 something, um, they used to have the father was the one that had to say so if a baby was to live. And if the father, if the dad said no, they would take the baby and put it up in a tree for the elements. We don't want to go there. And we don't want the women to have to say so. Only, you know, it's God, our Heavenly Father, our Creator, that we are created in His image and likeness. You have uh, God's image. And you were created in His image and likeness. And life is sacred. And some of the stuff they're saying is right, but... I'm just like, sis, push back. Nobody told you to have a thousand kids and nobody told you just to not have kids at all. Like, we are just too sensitive right now. You tell me what you think. Like the video, subscribe, comment below and tell me what you think about this heartbeat bill. Until next time, love on yourself. And don't be taking no plan Bs because your hair gonna fall out, okay?